Hi, and today we're going to talk about MailChimp and how it integrates into Salesforce using Sync Apps by Kazumi. So take a look at the MailChimp for Salesforce here. What you want to do is select the sync type, which is Salesforce to MailChimp Sync. You can read through, once you select this, some of the key features in the integration and how it works. And once you do that, click Next. This will bring you to the Salesforce setup screen. So it's pretty simple. You just put in your username, password, if you use security tokens. You can put in those. As you move down the page, we have essentially you can use a, a Salesforce sandbox account. Once you select the object type to sync, in this case it's contact, you can then choose a couple different options. One of them is we provide you with a Salesforce campaign or marketing list. In this case, I'm choosing campaigns and I'm selecting one of them to test with. And then I'm going to update that, go back into Salesforce, add some members and sync those over to MailChimp. So again, you can also use the fully bi-directional Kazumi marketing list, which utilizes MailChimp's webhook technology. And this is provided out of the box in sync apps. You just have to download it from the app exchange. Once you do, you'll be able to come over and put in the fields in Salesforce that we provide for you. You just need to drag them into the layouts, Kazumi ID, uh, into two layouts and then also into the campaign metrics, open clicks and bounces. Um, we also came out with a new feature this uh, month, uh, sync click URLs. Any embedded URL in the MailChimp email that's sent out to clients will be tracked back into the Salesforce subscriber record um, and then just click next. So on the MailChimp side, it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Just put in your uh, API key there, you can name your master list that you have uh, in MailChimp, and then also the group title to use if you want. Um, we do provide some add-ons, Get Satisfaction, one of our top partners and community in Kazumi is one of them. And then field mapping. Field mapping is something you can come back to. We map the fields uh, out of the box and you can scroll over any question mark or what we call sync notes in the application to find these. But you can come back and do a lot of field mapping in the application uh, for your sync app. And then on the paid plans you have the scheduling feature which you can set down to about five minutes is what a lot of our subscribers use. And then the sync time is when we pull in the marketing metrics uh, to your Salesforce. So that's how it works. Give it a try on the free trial. Feel free to email us at ask at kazumi.com if you have any questions and or uh, go into your account and then head over to support at Kazumi and ask a good question or look through some of our uh, knowledge base articles. So here you'll find something on our blog maybe or in the middle here on Sync App Support or on our videos. So let us know what you think. Give us some feedback and try the new sync app for MailChimp by Kazumi. Thank you.